Hi students, uh, today we are going to discuss the chapter related to 9th standard and the topic we are going to discuss is polynomials. Okay, and before moving to this polynomials, we have come across some concepts in your 8th standard and 7th standard. You might have come across constant variable. Okay, these are the two things you come across. So, what do you mean by a constant and what is a variable? Constant, for example, let me take an example to explain. 2x. In this, if you observe, 2 is a constant. Constant or we can also call it as coefficient. Coefficient of x. What do you mean by coefficient? The number or any alphabet which is multiplied to this x is called coefficient. It may be x or y or any other variable. So why it is called as variable? Because x value if you consider as 1, you will get 2 into 1 which is 2. If I consider x value as 2, I will get 2 into 2 which is 4. So you can change any value. You can take any whole number for x, any real number for x, you will get the your value of 2x is changing. So value of x can be changed but you are not allowed to change the value of 2. That is 2 everywhere. Any, everywhere, whichever the number of x you take, the 2 will be keep on repeating. That value will not change. So that's the reason 2 is considered as constant and x is considered as variable. So then we consider the concept called polynomials. Before going to that polynomial concept, you should understand Polynomial is an algebraic expression, okay? Polynomial is an algebraic expression where you have, okay? Where you have the constants and variables in it, okay? I'll just repeat it. A polynomial is an algebraic expression which has constants and variables in it, okay? So, what are the polynomials we have? You can take any example. 2t plus 3. Remember, you should not take only x or y. You can take t, you can take s, yes, but here t is the variable, 2 and 3 are the constants. Okay, so now uh, we can take any example. Uh, 2s yes plus 9, or you can take uh, 3x plus 2. These are considered as polynomials itself. So now here, one thing, so what are, what we call, you know, like, uh, if these are the polynomials, then what, which, uh, like, you know, algebraic expressions are not called as polynomials. That also we will discuss. Some cases you just observe here, 2 into root x plus 5. Okay. In this, if you observe, can I write this root x as x power 1 by 2? Correct. Remember, if the power of x here is 1, s is 1, t is also 1. So here, the power of the variable is a whole number. Whole number starts from 0. We know that, right? Power of x is a x or t or t. Power of a variable is a whole number. But here, power of the variable is a uh, fraction, maybe rational number. So this cannot be considered as a polynomial. Remember, the power of x is always to be a whole number. It cannot be a fraction or a, any other rational number. Okay? Remember that carefully. Then, we just, uh, I hope you understood this, what I said, what can be called as uh, polynomial, what is not considered as a polynomial also. Then, we will just go with the next concept, our next topic in this degree. Okay. What is this degree of polynomial? The polynomials are different types of polynomials. Just I'll explain uh, one one with example. x plus y whole square. Understood? This you might have come across in the last classes. Just like a plus b whole square. What is the formula? If you expand this, a square, it means x square plus 2 into xy plus y square. Understood? In these, two variables are there. One is x and one, another one is y. So, this is a polynomial 
with two variables okay understood and if i consider this example 3x plus 2 this is a polynomial with one variable why because here it's very simple x and y also you can change in that whereas in this x is the only thing which you can change that is the reason that is the polynomial of two variables and this is the polynomial of only one variable i hope you understood what i said so now what is the degree of the polynomial remember i'll just consider an example of uh, one uh, polynomial with one variable polynomial in one variable x square plus 2x plus 1 in this you have uh, like x power 1 x power 2 and constants so we have 2 and 1 are constants so what is the degree of this polynomial if you observe that polynomial just you observe the highest power of x here the power of x is 1 that is not the highest power in this the highest power of x is 2 here so degree of this polynomial is 2 so how do you find the degree of any polynomial just you have to write or you have to just find out the highest power of the variable it doesn't mean only for x even i'll give one more example uh, just uh, consider y square plus 3y minus 5 in this highest power of y is 2 so that is the reason degree of this variable or degree of this polynomial is 2 it is not only in terms of x it may be even it might be terms in the terms of y also just we will consider some more examples for this so let me write those examples here yes uh, find the degree of the polynomial number one x power 5 minus x power 4 plus 3 okay x power 5 plus x power 4 plus 3 the second one we will consider as 2 minus y square minus y cube uh, plus 2 y power h and the third one is 2 just I am taking 2. So here we have to find the degree. Find the degree of polynomials. We are finding the degree of the polynomials which are given. So first one. First one I consider. What is the first one? X power 4 minus X power 4. Sorry, X power 5 minus X power 4 plus 3. Here, what is the highest power of x? We have 5. So, that is the reason this polynomial is having 5 as its degree. Next, second one. Second one, if you consider, what is the highest power of y in this? Because here, this is a polynomial in terms of y. So, highest power of y is, I'll just write it, 2 minus y squared minus y cube plus 2y power 8 so degree highest degree is the like highest power of y is 8 so this is the polynomial of degree 8 now third one here you have to use your brain in this case 2 is there we do not have any variables here. we don't have any variable there. so how do you write the degree of it okay all of you know this uh, like before going to that, I'll just uh, make you remember some formula in exponents. What is a power 0? Because this is the thing where usually you'll do mistakes. Some students, uh, when I came, uh, when I asked them, they told a power 0 is a. Some people told 0. Some people told some other answer. Remember, anything, it is not only a. You can take x power 0. You can take 2 power 0. Anything any number don't take 0 power 0 that uh, is a different case that you will not even learn in this uh, level ninth level you know you can learn that what exactly that and all in your future classes maybe in your higher levels so anything power 0 is 1 remember that anything power 0 is 1 that should be a, a whole number or a real number you cannot take any other than uh, whole numbers and real numbers you cannot take 0 for in the case uh, a should not be 0 that is provided okay 2 
So now two can be written as two into x power zero because as I told that anything power zero is one. So two into x power zero. Can we write like that? Yes, you can write because two into one is same as two into x power zero. Now tell me what is the highest power of x? Zero. So what is the degree of this polynomial? Zero. So degree. Always remember degree of a constant polynomial is zero. These are considered as constant polynomials. Okay. Whereas the degree of this constant polynomials is zero. Okay. So I'll just uh, go with some other sums. And one more concept we have. Just we will discuss that also. Zeros of polynomials. Okay, and before going to like understand the zeros of polynomials, first you have to just understand. For example, let uh, p of x. What does this p of x mean? It means polynomial in x. Okay, we are just writing it as p of x. So I'll just take it as x square minus five x plus two. Okay, now. I'm just going to find what is p of one. What do you mean by p of one? It means p of x at x is equal to one. It means you have to substitute in the place of x one. That's all. Where only for x. You cannot substitute for any constant. So you have to substitute only for x value. So when you substitute, what happens? One square minus five into one plus two. Which will give you one minus five plus two uh, minus four plus two is minus two. What I did here, I just I just replace your x with the value one. So just wherever x is there, you substitute one, you will get the value of p of x that x is equal to one. For example, you can do it for x is equal to two also. P of two, which is Two square minus five into two plus two. So what do you get? Four minus ten plus two, which is four minus eight, which is minus four. Okay. So this is nothing but we are just finding the p of x at the different x values. Because as I told before, x can be changed because x is a variable. So just I am just changing the values of x by giving different Numbers, correct? First time I had given x is equal to one, we got minus two. Or x is equal to two, we got minus four. You can write, you can give any number depends on that your p of x value will be there. Okay? Then uh, we have to discuss one more topic, which is zeros of polynomial. Okay? What does this zeros of polynomial mean? Okay? Zeros in the sense, remember, here we substituted. In the p of x, we substituted x is equal to one, x is equal to two, like that. Okay, we got some values like one, minus two, minus four, all those things, right? So, what basically I am telling is, when you substitute the x value, for example, we will just take x square plus, uh, minus two x plus one. Let let us take this as an example. Okay. Now I just consider the x is equal to uh, some value. I'll take x is equal to one. I'm taking random values. Okay, I also don't know what happens. Just you consider x is equal to one. So what happens? P of one is equal to one square minus two into one plus one, which is one minus two plus one. One minus two is minus one. Minus one plus one is zero. See last example what we discussed. In that case, we are taken x is equal to one, x is equal to two, or whatever the values we are taken. But we got one one case we got minus two, and another case we got minus four. Do we got zero there? No, right? We got a number. We got one real number. But here we got when I take x is equal to one, we got zero. So remember, whenever you take for any x value for this x square minus two x plus one for any x value. Once you substitute in that polynomial, if you get zero after substitution, if you are getting zero, 
that is considered as a zero of this is p of x no i can write one is the zero of polynomial p of x when can we call that as zero of a polynomial for any value of x we don't know that with randomly taken we got if you take x is equal to 2 you might not get zero you might get some other number so that is not considered as a zero of a polynomial understood okay i hope you understood the concept of zeros of polynomial for any value of x for some value okay which may be 1 2 or 3 for that value of x this entire p of x will become zero that value is considered as zero of that polynomial so how many zeros will a polynomial will have okay so remember degree always just go with the degree what is degree of this polynomial 2 correct because highest power of x is 2 in this case so degree of this polynomial is 2 so maximum number of zeros this polynomial are 2 understood so for any polynomial depends on this degree okay depends on the degree the polynomial values will be there here it is 2 highest uh, what is it power of x is 2 which is called degree so degree is 2 how many polynomials this can have Deg zeros this can have two zeros this can have it means it cannot have more than two remember that it can have only two num two number of zeros okay fine just uh, we will take one more example Yeah. just consider a simple example p of x is equal to i'll take a polynomial with the degree one okay what will be zero of this polynomial so tell me for what value of x will it be zero okay let me go with x is equal to one so what is p of one two into one plus one which is two plus one three so 3 is, we are getting 3. So, obviously, x is equal to 1 is not a 0 of this polynomial. So, for what value we will get 0? To find it, there is an easy method. Just you equate this p of x to 0. Understood? What we are doing? Just we are equating this p of x, whatever the polynomial we have, equate it to 0. When you equate 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 and 2x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, what is the 0 of this polynomial? Minus 1 by 2 is the 0. Just you check, cross check, you multiply, you in the place of x you consider minus 1 by 2 and just substitute in that 2, 2 will get cancelled. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, you are getting 0. So, x is equal to minus 1 by 2 is the 0 of this polynomial understood and how many zeros this polynomial can have just in the last term we discussed it depends on the degree or highest power of the x what is the highest power of x here one so how many zeros it can have only one understood i hope you understood the degree and uh, we, we just we discussed the constants I'm just reca recapping what are, what are the things we discussed in this session. Uh, constants, variables, degree, okay, and finding the zeros of the polynomials with examples. I hope you understood, okay. Please share, comment, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Take care.